kind of straightforward with it. So he's going to be blocking your attacks. That's the point of him. He goes for the it goes for the the clan rat with shield. It goes for the marauder with shield. It goes for the we have storm vermin with shield, which are just horrible. Uh, they will block attacks from the uh, the front of them, the, the forward-facing arc uh, of them. There are three ways to hurt, or four ways actually, it might be five, but a number of ways to hurt them. You can attack them from behind, you can wait until they attack, uh, avoid their attack and then hit them. That's the thing that Victor never really nope. manages to no, do, no. because that's quite reflex. You probably want to have like the fencing sword in Victor and just go dodge to the side and then chop the head off. Uh, so there's a short time window there after they've kind of completed their attack. Uh, otherwise you can just like... Who is floppy? floppy? We have actually players. We have actually okay. players. Is it good? He's level one. You're doomed. Is that a real player? I don't know. Is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> this is not oh. the actual beta build, so it should... I don't know. Is it someone in the office? I don't know. Are we being hacked? I don't know. Yeah, see, it is nice. He's playing the elf, so probably. Uh. But anyway, so shield guys. Uh, the last thing you can do is a couple of uh, weapons and attacks, especially like heavy charge, like overhead swings that one uh, has a single target use. They will actually break the shields. Uh, and a couple of the abilities, like the true flight on the on Carillion, will bypass the shield. And then there's the sweet little nugget of surprise. The flail will do damage past shields and will not be stopped by shield wearers. So the, 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 the simple joys in life is just having ah. a flail and then whacking out two uh, storm vermin with shields while your, your teammates kind of look on in, in amazement. It's, it's quite nice. Who is Floppy? I don't know. Do you know who Floppy is? Find him. <laughs> Give us his information. All that flailing. You know, I heard that line first, like when I was working with the, with the, with the flail. Oh, sorry, the so I ran around like. Right. Hello. So he's floppy is talking to me. He's talking to you. <laughs> you can. Are we like on? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is the is the is the voice chat in game? Open. This game is dope. I like floppy. Oh yeah, I yeah. think Floppy thanks. is a real player. Oh, that's cool. Well, say thanks. Okay, we're getting him. See, is now joining in as well. That's nice. That's completely nice. No, but I was working on the play, like setting it up. So I had the bots running around. We have that combat level that we work in. That's kind of a dev tool thing. And then all of the uh, all of a sudden, Carillion goes all that flailing, and so little results. And I felt really kind of. That's very Love meta. You. It's very meta. Bye. Extremely meta. Come on, boys. Floppy. Why did you ruin the house? Why did I ruin the house? Because yeah. it was a very nasty man that lived there that had helped the chaos. So we oh blew yeah. up his house and took all their supplies. Because they, they were storing everything that they had been uh, ransacking this village for. They were storing up and around that house so we destroyed it before they could take it back oh to yeah. the skitty gate. I remember that. It's the, um, it's the cheese. Exactly. The cheese they were stealing all the cheese. Do we have cheese in the game? There's lots of cheese There's in the lots game. Of cheese. So Ussing is kind of known for, for the cheese production, I think. Mm -hmm. It was one of the things we had when you, you went through where we kind of put the different levels. Uh, oh so apparently God. the chaos Lop has dying. Save him. He likes the game. He will be important for our world. He is very important. Sales. Die! Yes, very good. So, how is Shat doing? I don't see Shat. Do we see Shat? Lul. So, someone says Lul. <laughs> that means they think you're awesome, Victor. <laughs> you, you play in a very entertaining way. Very entertaining. Very, very entertaining. That's awesome. Good to save our fans. Yeah, yeah, you kind of have to do that, uh, especially in this game. I mean, we are tuning. I, 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 I think you got that question before, like with the balancing and stuff. Uh, just to get it right so that people actually feel challenged, but not just horribly abused by the game. And we have some tricks that we're putting in there, and I know we ran it kind of rough during the beta. Uh, we know that there's a lot of like veteran players in there, and we kind of want to stress test a couple of things. Uh, but we're finding our way. 
And I mean, there's that difference, especially with a game like Vermintide, because I think we we have that thing where we want it to be immediately ap uh, uh, appreciable, where you can just go in and pick up a hammer and, and, and hit rats or, or marauders and kind of have a good time with it. But then we wanted you to kind of, if you're into that thing, transition over to kind we of the, the more deep mechanics Hooray of the gameplay. Uh, because I do think there's kind of, there's a lot to learn and there's a lot to master in there. Uh, and that's always tricky. Look at that. He's Walk. a good player. He's a good player. It's almost as if you played this level before. Uh, once or twice. Once. once yeah. twice. Yes, that's very good. I played it twice. Yeah. But this is like the first time we show like the other half of the, the second part of a single yeah. second because we had 60 percent or whatever it is in the demo we just ran it kind of halfway and then ended it with a <coughs> yeah no problem man. Uh, we ended it with uh with that cool cool slow mo cut with a cool slow mo slow the cool storm yeah. yeah which worked 99.5 percent of the time <laughs> but not five N yeah no I, i've saw, seen a couple of the cool slow-mo where we kind of we, we tilt the camera towards one of our bosses that kind of what the storm fiend when it comes to to kind of uh, d d spray fire on you and a uh, couple of times i've seen like a dwarf butt jumping past the screen or being hidden behind a pillar or something i'm stuck in end game screen no loading this screen. might be because we're actually not playing the same version of the game yeah it might be and you're hosting so maybe right? i should stop playing this you game. should probably stop yep. playing the game I think. I hope it's that because I I'm not actually playing on the actual uh, beta. beta. No, I'm what I was playing on our local version of the beta. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. So yeah that's yeah. good to know it's that players can join that because we I should probably <laughs> we should probably tell people. But I, I I suspect people that should be fixing stuff like this is kind of watching this. Maybe. And I remember like a couple of weeks ago when we we <laughs> actually happened to divulge a couple of design changes on stream because we had a design meeting right before the stream yes and we didn't really have time to go tell the no team. that was fun so we went and had the stream and then kind of talked about the design changes in stream so when i got back up to the team they were like dude what the <laughs> hell <laughs> uh, so yeah go yeah probably fix that yeah <laughs> somehow with code the code magic we're just designers we don't really know no code. we know nothing i know nothing. i mean we do code we don't i don't know you do no come on you no. do code I know you ones should. and zeros. Come on. I, I will help you into the code. Okay. You just go into I any code file and then coder. you just kind of change stuff until yes. it's fun. And then you kind of call a coder and say, fix this so it works. Yes. It's a really That's nice how way I, I say just fix it yeah. so it works. I think that might explain some of the bugs in the game. 